Hello, hello! We are back after 20 minutes, and it's been about two weeks for you, and we're finally ready to make our way into the Meerkat Manor. Hello, I'm Drew Ashland Noss, and I'm your Dungeon Master, and I will pass it over here to our wonderful Necro Hamster. Oh, and me. Yeah. I, I, usually, I usually go last. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm Frankie, and I play Hammy Sammy, the Necromancer Hamster. Sure. Yeah. I almost messed that up. Um, yeah. That's that. And how's it going, everybody? I'm Keystone Malone, and I'm playing John Dogstrong. I think that's the most lively you've ever sounded <laughs> in your intro. Yep. <laughs> I've never ready. heard you sound that alive. <laughs> well, I'm you're usually like, new, you're Nathan. like, hello, I am Keystone Malone. <laughs> I play John Dogstrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Crystal. I play Nala, the rambunctious circus cat. Hello, I am Nathan Stewart. I play Tension Rorty. <laughs> Sounds about like me. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, so, good impersonation. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and with that, we will... Do it! Cue, Cue the music! This is the story of Pocket World and how our actions change the course of our world forever. at home we had traveled traveled basically to Meerkat Manor we had a few days of walking and then we ran into a some elves we ran into some, some griffins and some dwarves yeah and some dwarves they thought we're goblins yeah they thought we were goblins yeah. yeah so the griffins ended up you guys were able to talk them into giving you a ride to the rest of the way allowing you to skip a ton ton more of encounters that I had somewhat planned. That was the plan. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, while you guys were flying in the air, you were attacked. Some kind of magical, like, <laughs> scolding spell of water fire kind of magic was hitting you guys. You couldn't tell what it was that was attacking you, but with Hammy Sammy's quick thinking, we were able to turn ourselves invisible and continue the rest of the way. And once we got here, we found the four royal, purple trees of royal, royal purple trees. And there was a rock in front of each of them with a sigil of the four elements. And you guys had figured out that pretty, pretty nice little puzzle there. And that is where we left off. We will pick up immediately after the you last said the one. gate uh so the gate of meerkat manor started lighting up and the door appeared yes and a door appeared okay. and there were feather keyholes there. all right and then all ran oh. up <laughs> so as you were running up so i'm gonna say you guys are all back all at one point of the rocks or the trees essentially so as nala's running up let's see she'd be coming from that side so nala over the tree and through like one of the purple trees, mm -hmm. you see a giant water spell of, it looks like fire coming at you, but it's made of water, and it's coming at you like someone threw a softball. Oh, I'm gonna, so I'm going to roll to see. I'm going to duck out of the way. Got any more of that dust of dryness left? What is your uh, AC? Because I rolled a 15 plus, so 16. 12. 12. So Nala, it lands right in front of you. You don't see it in time. And it just hits the ground and erupts all into you. Go ahead and roll 2d10. And that's the damage you take. Can you see where this magic is cut? Like this magic fire water stuff's coming from? Like who's casting it? Or yeah, so you guys, the three of you all notice that Nala just gets waylaid with that. And it all sends you guys into a straight panic slash attack mode however your characters would handle it. And let's say 
It's Hammy Sammy and John Dogstrong. Who, I get out my shield. Yeah, we're over there. Uh, and sorry. you guys look around, roll me perception checks. So you don't see shit because of where you're at, you can't see him. You're like right behind the carriage. So, in front of the box. Don't so. worry, guys, I've got the back side. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that just means you're proficient. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the proficiency. So, Hammy, Sammy, and John, the two of you look off to where you saw that water fireball being launched. And in a very far distance, you can see this amphibic, crustacean kind of thing off in the distance. Oh, shit. And it just launched another one aiming right at you guys. So I'm going to try to hit. shield out. Okay, so what, describe to us what the shield does again. Against, um, I have advantage against any spells or magical effects. Okay. So that would just probably impose disadvantage on this spell. So 13 is one roll. And then Okay, so total of five. So as it's flying towards you... I just ping it off my shield. And your shield just absorbs it. Can I send it back at him? Because it was so low. No, I don't think that's what the speed limit for mm. the spell does. Okay. So, I'm just gonna... And then the ground starts shaking in a steady rhythm as if something, this thing, is running towards you. Oh my god. It's running towards Did me? Did just All right. it to the freaking gate? <laughs> I think we might need to, but um, are we able to get through the gates? Nala has to get there first so she can so, put the feather keys in. Nala, get to the gate, and I'll just put out my magic circle. <coughs> so how much damage did you take, Nala? I took 15 damage. 15 damage? Okay, so Nala, you get up, and you see John block the second spell attack. And you hear what John tells you. And so you're about halfway there. You could probably make it to the door. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. So as Nala's making her way towards the door, uh, Roni, what do you say you're doing? Hmm. I need to find a way to help protect her getting over to the door. Um... So I guess I'm just going to follow along behind her. Okay. So you, you see Nala dart, and you just dart after her. So you maybe let them know that that's what you're doing. I wanna... I'm want i following the cat! Okay. Ham and Sam is going to yell to his undead cats that are still hanging out by the uh... thing. I'm like, follow them. Stay in between them and whatever's shooting this water shit. Because then uh... the carriage might help protect, you know. Yep. So they're following along their best to try to, like... Keep to, up with the yeah, so they can try and block, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I need too. some silver powder. Silver powder? Yes. Sure. Here, I have some silver powder. You're a shopkeeper. In my pocket. <laughs> I have silver powder now. Okay, you got it so from I can that. do my magic um, circle now. I'm gonna use the venom um, knife and the magic silver to c- create my magic circle because I have to have those two to create it. Okay. So yeah, so I have a magic circle that's twenty feet wide. So anything that comes into it is trapped. Okay, so how long does it take to prepare that spell? Because this is what's going to be important here. Duration is one hour. Casting time is one minute. Okay, so that's going to be... That's technically ten rounds, but I will shorten it down to... I'm going to put my shield out in front of me, though. And it's going to take two turns instead. So there will be two things each that they'll do before you can do anything else because you're still drawing. Okay. Oh, no, I'm still drawing the circle yeah. and mixing the ingredients. Yes, exactly. So John gets to work. Hammy sees what she, what John is doing. And all of a sudden, who do I want to see have this look? Uh, Hammy Sammy. So you look through his shield because it's got like this weird like two-way mirror effect. Mm-hmm. And you can see that this thing is running and he picks up a log, like a tree trunk. And he javelin throws it at you. At me? Uh, mm, I think he would actually I mean, be aiming at... The wagon. So he's going to aim I, at the wagon. Can I try and shoot a magic missile at the, the log he threw to, like, explode yeah. it? Yeah, or try to, like, bounce. 
mess with its trajectory so or like anything. So I roll what? Just a d20 to hit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, five? That's bullshit. I'll take the damage. Um, I'll take the damage for the roll because it rolled a two to throw. The okay. total. So he throws it and you launch a missile. So Hammy, you just reach around that yeah. shield and you just magic missile and a one single missile hits that trunk and it bounces the trajectory off enough to where it just lands right behind you guys like as okay. in an angle. <laughs> okay, so now the two of you need to make acrobatics checks. Nala and Roni. Sweet, I have advantage. Oh, good. You'll need it. Mm-hmm. And a plus six. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, I did just get fucked. Yeah, you too. 19. 19, that passes. I got an 18. Oh, that passes. I rolled a 6. <laughs> uh, so you roll for your cats, just a regular. Use your stats, because that's a... Uh, what check is it again? Uh, dex. Uh, acrobatics. Acrobatics. Or athletics, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Athletics. Athletics Athletics or acrobatics, I don't care at this point. Okay. Uh, that's a two. <laughs> that's a two? Uh, so the two of them have run off. Okay. Then the undead so, cats have not been oh. able to keep up. They're kind of struggling okay. right now. But they're still making their way downtown. So, so uh, I, I take that as a second round. You guys are almost to the door now. After the end of this round, you guys will make it to the ra- to the door. And then you'll have to place the keys. So, as you, the smoke clears from the magic missile hitting, a boulder is now flying at the two cats in the back. So that'll be a 15 for your AC. Does that hit you guys? Uh, yes, it hits her. I know. She hit hers as 12. And Nathan, get my C. On this full team. What is our damage? I'm, I'm rolling it right now. <laughs> Yeah. Does that hit you, Ronnie? 15? Yeah. Okay. So you guys, right as you're running, this boulder just lands right to the side of you guys, and you guys go flying about 20, 30 feet back. You go, ah! You guys both take um, 11 damage. So you, Hammy Sammy sees that. I thought my magic circle was going to be in between them and the door, so I'm in between the dude and... Uh, yeah, so how it is is you, the, the two of them are running towards the door, mm-hmm. which is right around this area for the view of you guys. So, and then you and Hammy Sammy are right here. This is Hammy where you Sammy landed. should be able to protect them from anything that gets thrown. Well, I mean, you can't jump up and keep continuing your spell, though. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's your turn, Hammy Sammy. <laughs> um... And then you guys will have to spend an action to get up the cats yeah, when it's your turn next. This is my second one. Right? Yeah, this is your second one. So when Hammy, Sammy goes again, it'll be your turn after. The magic circle will then activate. Yeah. Uh, can I, I... I can see the creature or whatever that's casting the... Yeah, at this point, it's pretty close to you guys, and you can see that this thing is enormous. And it looks like a giant crab folk, except a okay. little mutated. It's got some pipes shooting steam out of its back where its shell is and it's just shooting this weird colored steam and you can see the trees the dead trees that are around are wilting even more when that smoke touches it the ones that are still standing i want to use my i want to try and use my staff of power to cast hold monster okay on the creature okay which i believe basically just means it can't do shit right unless it's correct out. i need to roll a, something though what does it tell me i need to roll so my save DC is fifteen. Okay, so he's okay. gotta be fifteen. Cool. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gotcha. a spell caster, really. I mean, I play one, but thirteen does not beat it. Cool. So he's running, and you hold monster. And how does that look to you? Um. Uh, let's just say. No. Yeah, some like some fl- black flaming looking chains come out of the ground. And just binds him and he falls face first. Cool. All right. So the two of you spin an action to get up, and then you have. Uh, that's the end of your guys' turn. Mm-hmm. And then now we start at the new turn. Magical circle. 
and it just boom it um, lights up stones come around and my um, thing that I drew on the ground glows and anything that comes into my circle has a disadvantage on um, attack rolls on me well on chosen creatures inside the spear which is me and the hammy sand okay so far because it's only 20 feet Sick. So you can still do something because you just finished it. It took you two turns. Yes. And then... Um, this thing is probably about 140 feet away from John and Hammy. This giant crab-looking thing. So I'm going to do a, probably a guiding bolt on it. Yeah, I'm going to guiding bolt him. Okay. Since he's already... Prone and you get prone. advantage on it? Yeah. So I'm going to roll to see if I hit. Nat 20. Oh, nice. So 140 damage. Jesus. So, John, you can have, like, this whole description of how this thing looks because it's 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 going to be an enormous attack. It's literally... It could fry him. Like, it's radiant damage, too, so the next attack has advantage on the attack on it, too. And... For the next turn has advantage. Has a mystical light on him, too. So, so yeah, the next person that attacks, or for the next round, he had, they have this advantage. So, yeah, John, you it comes out of your mouth, and you just go, Guiding! Whoa! And it just, with a giant bark that you let out, this giant Ooh. sphere of holy <laughs> energy just shoots <laughs> out like a rocket and just nails this prone creature. And a giant explosion... <laughs> Smoke and everything is everywhere, but you can still see him through the smoke because of John's ability through the spell. All right, the two of you can roll one more check. Uh, acrobatics. How far away am I from them? From them or from the door? From the dude, actually, is what I mean. Cause, um, uh, you're about... Uh, you're about two miles from them. You can only see specks 21. of them fighting. 21? 60 feet? Uh, let's say it's 120. Okay. I'm going to do a... Fuck, I can't do that. Can't dash, because that's an action, huh? Yep. Yeah, so you can either dash towards them or dash towards the door. Nala, you did make it. Sweet. You're out the door. Hell yeah. All right, I'll just use Chill Touch, because I'm 120 feet away from it. Or actually, I'll just do Eldritch Blast. Uh, two? Two, okay. I'll hold on to that to your next turn. So you're going to do Eldritch Blast, so it's yeah. advantage on the attack because he is prone. And I get two because uh, of the it's level. The fifth level. Sick. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. That does not hit. So it fizzles out yeah, right no, there. Hold up! Hold up! Okay. Inspiration. Fifteen. It's not high enough. I went from thirteen, <laughs> fourteen to fifteen. Damn. So yeah, your spell fizzles out right before it hits him. It's just you're barely out of range, or you lost focus or something. And... Okay, so I guess it's his turn now. So he... Do I get to like try to roll to get Yeah, at the beginning of your turn, you can try and do another wisdom saving check. Four does not beat it. No. Okay, so you see him struggling... And you can see the steam from the pipes from his weird crustaceans back, crustacean back starting to shoot out. And the dust that was from John's explosion start to dissipate. And it's changing to this weird purplish-black midnight smoke. And it, has, it looks like it has stars in it, which is really, really weird. And it's almost inviting. and almost wants you to come and touch it. Mm. Don't touch it. And it starts expanding out from his area. Probably in about two turns it'll reach you guys. Oh my god. I think we just need to fucking get in that gate. Right. Okay, um, so what are, the, what are you two going to do? And then we'll do Nala next. Should we just run towards the gate? Or I feel um, like... Um, I have to put the feathers in, right? Does this guy exist on our plane of existence? Or is he from another plane of existence? You, uh, you would have to either try to roll a disadvantage history check or no. 
My magical circle at last. I or I can't tell you. Or I can't tell well, you. Well, that's alright. Because regardless, it. I still can finish it. Right. Wait, okay, so hold on. Say again, babe. My circle will stay, even though I leave it, though, right? Because it's... Uh, we'll say that circle. you're strong enough to do that. Yeah, like, as long as you're concentrating. It's literally an hour long. Okay, so I'm going to leave the circle there, and me and... Um, I'm going to hop on his back. Yeah, and she's going to ride all the way to the gate, and we're going to pick them up on the way. And we're all gonna start hauling ass towards the gate. Okay. She already made it to the gate. Yeah, she's oh, at the gate. Okay. So while there. John is picking up Hammy, Sammy, and his shield and catching up to Roni and the gate, the cats get there right behind you, Nola. And as you start to pull out the feathers from your cloak or from your armor, mm-hmm. you hear this voice only two. And then two of the keyholes light up. All right, so I'm going to pluck out two of the feathers and plug them into the holes. And then they stay glowing, and then that's it. And the door doesn't open? No, because there's a total of five. So now I'm going to say all of you guys pull up, and then each of you that's not Nala needs to roll me two D6s, and then... Take the lower roll. I got a five. I got a six. And a two. So two. One. Rorney's on the I got a six and a six. Oh, wow. Okay, so... One, two, six. That's what we got. So I'm going to say that Hanny Sammy jumps off first, and then Roni jumps off first, so John's last. So the two of you here, uh, Hanny Sammy and Roni, you guys... Roni hears just one. And Hammy hears just two. And then whenever John comes up, keyholes filled. Okay. What the hell? So you put two in, I put one in. Oh. And then all the keyholes are filled. Hey, can I uh, I get two of them fellas? I'll take one. You put them in, Hammy Sammy and Roni. They glow. And the door begins to glow. Oh. Angel Death has to open it, huh? <laughs> Go for it. Not just out, but death. I'm gonna open it. So as you open it, like how a dog would open doors, for some reason you're so fucking strong, you're opening this giant sti- or st- uh, stone door with your forehead, and you guys can hear. Dog strong. Yeah, yeah. Then you guys look behind you, and you can hear the sound of. Like something's about to break, and you all look behind you. He's in my magic circle. And the magic shield circle circle is starting to crack, holding back this weird smoke. And then all of a sudden, it breaks. And it just gets Is the door big enough for my my cats in the carriage to come into? Yes. All right, I'm gonna usher them inside. (laughs) They 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 run it super fast. Can I shut the door? Yep. I shut the door. So you shut the door. The two. Someone else shuts the door. I'm going to say it's Roni. I'll help you shut the door. You each take a door and you shut it. Since my shop's here, I can I can put one of... Uh, I have an immovable rod. I can st- jam into the door so that thing can't push it open. Uh, if you still want to do that after this description, go oh, ahead. Okay, yeah, no, As you shut the door, Taylor's the magic there. fades down, and it looks as if mm-hmm. as the magic's fading down, the doorway is sealing itself into a wall. Okay, so it's never, never mind. So there's no going back. So forward we go, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Forward we go. So who takes it? the first step? Wait, I first did. describe I'll what it looks step. like in here. It what is do we see? dark. Even for your dark vision for as animals, it is dark. Don't you have one of those light up all thingies? We all do. Orbs of... He's already taken a step. Though. Are you taking a step? Oh, he said yeah. he did. Okay, Drift. He said he did. Okay. Don't let him all take All right, so you back. take a step and braziers on the wall. <laughs> Four of them in total. Light. On pillars, mm. light up. Okay, at least it's only that. See? And then forward, exactly. you oh. see a giant oh. staircase that separates okay. up, staircase. down, giant. left, right, and it even has some that are upside down. And oh. it seems the further you look up, the darker it gets. And you can only see every direction that the stairs are going. Um, Which hey, meerkats! We're in a labyrinth. <laughs> How do we get up to where we need to go? Oh, Who are you God. talking to? <laughs> yeah, it just echoes. 
Then you hear the sound of small feet in armor. That's what I was talking to. The meerkats were at Meerkat Manor. And you see this little meerkat, red meerkat, almost it looks like a red Chinese panda, but it's definitely a meerkat. And it has probably the size of a good butcher knife, but it looks like a bastard sword for this little thing. And it pulls it out and it aims it at you. It goes, Uh-oh. who off go there? And I just, I feel like I'm pulling something out from my back and all I do is have my hand out. <laughs> because I'm a spell user. You foul brigands. Um, I. What doth want here? I am Rorny Thunderfist. Shh. And he readies himself. Thunder. Fist. And hey. I am... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, let's calm down here, Pony. Thunder <laughs> fist. And I am the silver wind, and he barely moves, and he's right next to you. That's a very unique technique. But now you're just right in my range to die. But I don't want to kill Whoa. you, so hold on. First stop. Stop. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's Roll stop. a persuasion check. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm totally not here to kill you. <laughs> 24. 24? Thou would, wouldeth believe you. But? But, unfortunately, in order to make your way forward, you will have to fight the five of us. Why can't well, we be friends? On. Friendship is no longer tolerated within the walls of Meerkat Manor. Oh, well, you have our Emily. Yeah, Emily. give me back my little girl. Emily. Emily. Wait a minute. You are Emily's friends? Wow. That's my little girl. That's her little girl. You hear that? Then that would make you Nala, correct? Yes, that is correct. That is her little girl. That is my little girl. You were told that, we were told that you cannot pass. Why? Well, then I'm taking you down. Well, then I guess we better get going then. Wait, who the hell told you that she couldn't pass? Well, I think Queen I Emily herself. Definitely. Excuse me? She said you have abandoned her for two years. I've been stuck in a time loop. Ha, Brigan. However you may disguise your faults is not my concern of thine. Get out of my way. And I guess we roll initiative. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty confident that I am definitely going to attack him first. I have this guy right here in my hand. He walked right He still has a sword to you. Yeah, but he walked right up to me first. <laughs> so who's going to battle first out of here? Uh, roll me a d20. Me, because I got a dirty 20. Oh, shit. I got an 18. I got a 2. 4. 4? Okay, so he goes to slice at you. And as he does, Nala, how do you stop him? Because you rolled um, higher than I did. I'm gonna sucker punch him. Just right in the jaw. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, you just fucking boom! <laughs> and you get him on the ground, and he's just locked underneath of your fucking fist. And that is how we start combat. So, who... 50 wh- cubs. <laughs> who rolled what again? I'm sorry? I rolled a 20. 18. 4. 2. You rolled a 2? I rolled a 2. Okay, Nala, you go first. Alright, so... He is prone. He is prone. Uh, here, I'll roll a d6 of damage for that. Four. He took four damage. And how far away is his friend? Uh, well, I don't think we really know where the other there four is, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just him. It's just him right now. Okay. Basically, I'm you hockey showing everybody, and we're going to go up through a tower. Okay, cool. Yeah. Then I'm just going to... Um... As I'm sucker punching him, I'd be like, how about we just uh, trap him and then move on? Trap all five? Trap him in what? Well, I thought there's only one that we were... There's one that you're fighting right now, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are we surrounded hey. by other ones? No, it's just... No, it's just the Why don't we just team up and chop his head okay, off, cool. you guys? I'm going to have to just... I'm gonna, yeah. How yeah, tall I'm, is this tower? I mean, we can do a team attack... I was going to just do Nine my, stories, um, 12 earth stories. And, my earth and grass so we could just walk right past him. Not 500 foot. He can't move. Tall, though, is it? It's taller than that, I would say. Nine, nine stories? So we Taller don't... than 500 feet? I think so. Because you're supposed to turn a turn signal on 800 feet away. All right, fine. Let's just do a team check. Okay. Everyone roll and they get advantage. And then you will describe to us after you roll all your damage and everything what you were doing. <coughs> team attack to hit. Yeah. 
And then it's full damage for the weapon that you're using. You said we have advantage? Yes, because he's prone. Cool, I got a 21 to hit then. That is a definite hit. Thank God. 22. Dagger Dak doesn't do shit. 16. 11. Clip. And then 11 doesn't hit. Uh, right, so damage. you times 2 on your damage. Well, then you gotta roll, and then times 2. So we roll our damage, and then we time. No, oh, so. He does. Yeah, he does because he got the nat 20. So, so for you guys, it's just full damage on the thing that you got. My, I've used my stupid dagger, and it only does 5 damage. Damn, does it have any kind of magical property? It's just a dagger. <laughs> so heavy Sammy's that fucking shanking him. Just yeah, I need to I need to get a better weapon. I need, I need to refer to a shop. I, I wait. Did three <laughs> damage. Three damage. That's fine. I like how it doubles it. Or I want to poke his toes with a... I got 21 damage at all. With a small knife, I'm going to poke his toe. <laughs> I'll say it does one damage. Yes! <laughs> so you're seeing your friends. So how does this look to everyone? Who makes the first attack? Well, I punch him, and then let's say he's on the ground. I just take my sword out and start... Just you, yeah. you open sheath attack him, mm-hmm. and you just slice him real good. And then John, what happens? Oh, I had my trident and I stabbed him, and then started turning it. Oh my goodness! And it's then like a bigger hole. Yeah, and then Hammy Sammy, I say I think the two of you, <laughs> Roni, you would be stabbing. I and then missed Roni's... my first hit, so I was like, <laughs> Yeah, you just and started getting my little knife out. Yeah, <laughs> poking toes. Yep, and you just mimic Hammy Sammy. So you guys are just over there on his toes, just poking. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, he is hella bloodied, and he is going to use an action to get up, and then he is going to, he has two actions, what else can I do here? I have two actions too. Have oh wait, that was a team attack, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm like, it's yeah. his turn. Yes, so Nala, was that all you can do? Yeah. Okay, right. so John, your turn. I'm gonna So never mind, he's still done. Nope, only one team attack per round. <laughs> when did that become a reward? Yeah, he just that made Since that Cage. Alright. Maybe if you guys watch the episodes. <laughs> I'm gonna stab him with my trident again. Okay. Advantage. I got 11. Okay, that does not hit. Then I'm gonna try. So he again. wiggles out of the way. And then I'm gonna try again. Okay. Fifteen. Does not hit. Advantage though. Ooh, twenty five. Okay, that's a hit. Nine damage. Nine, okay. Here. Okay, so now it is his turn. Right, because that's the end of your turn. Alright, yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. So he is going to take an action to get up. It's not his turn. It's No, he rolled an 18 as well. Uh, he rolled an 18. Yep. So I let you go first. So I can split it down the middle. So he gets to use an action to get up, and then he's going to use his other action, reach inside his cloak, and then break something inside his cloak. And then when he does, a giant cloud of smoke covers the whole area. So I'm going to use a reaction. Okay. To do counter spell? It's not a spell. So it's a magical uh, item. Will it stop that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it does not stop that. So, okay. And that's his turn. So who rolled the four? That was you, Nathan, right? Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use Vampiric Suckle on... No, mind. <laughs> no, mind. No sucks. I actually will vampirically suck this man. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I got a no advantage, correct? Yeah, because of disadvantage, because you can't see him anymore. Oh, so now it's disadvantage. Well, if he if you had advantage, it would cancel out the disadvantage, so making it a regular roll. Oh, okay. But if you don't have advantage, it is a disadvantage. All right, uh, I missed him. 
Okay? So you swipe, and then where you swipe... Wait, what is it you I'll do? Wait. And then, like, this ice little hand goes to grasp on something, and nothing's there. I said vampiric suckle. Uh, and it, okay, so it looks like vampire teeth coming yeah. out of your hand. And then that would be Hammy's turn. I mean, I want to try and attack him, but I'm trying to see if there's anything that allows me to see him right now. You yeah, know? that takes away the smoke or something. Yeah. Seven. Seven to hit. Total of 12. It doesn't hit. So you go to swipe, and as you swipe him, he's Sammy. My character here, for stat reasons, uses a legendary action at the end of my player's turn. You guys hear... Warriors Warriors Gentle, gentle rain. And Hammy Sammy, you can feel this immense energy coming at you, so I'm going to roll the hit. Can I try and dodge somehow? Uh, if you have a reaction, yes. Some kind of thing that gives you a reaction. But the total... Mm, I, my only reaction is the opportunity attack. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, it does not work, but I rolled a total of 23. So I'm pretty sure I hit you. Yeah. My okay. class is, well, 17. Eight. 16 damage dealt to you. You feel the stinging pain from your torso, the top of your collarbone, right down to your torso. And then, with that, it would be Nala's turn. So you hear Hammy Sammy call out in pain. At this point, you guys can't even see each other. Oh, you know what's funny? Here, here, here. <clears throat> Everyone. You guys hear the Rat King. Oh, wait, did you find something? I think so. I have this, um, this fan feather token. It says if you are on a boat or a ship, you can use an action to toss the token up 10 feet in the air. I know we're not on a boat or ship, but I'll read this anyway. It says, um, the token disappears and a giant flapping fan takes its place. The fan floats and creates a wind strong enough to fill the sails of one ship. But, I mean, that's a fan. Yeah, so how could I could see is you throw it up. And it could fan the smoke away. Yep, and like it could, the fan would appear above you guys and fan down on yes, you to push okay. the smoke out. So I, yeah, let's just say as soon as he, as soon as I got hit and yelled, I was like, oh fuck this, and I threw this up into the air. Sounds good. Sounds okay, good. Okay, and now it's not. Yeah, cool. So well, I don't have that anymore. That's good. So the fan goes off, and you guys can start to see each other at the start of Nala's turn. But the thing is. Is this meerkat is not there? Oh, so oh, great. Well, fuck. <laughs> so he ran off. Ran off or is waiting? Alright. I guess continue in. I guess we can move forward. Yeah. If he's not going to find us. Okay. Is that what everyone's going to do? Yeah, we just yeah. need to be on guard, because he could pop out of any freaking shadowy section. Right. We don't know. Just stay on guard. So do you guys make your way to the staircase? Yes. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. So as you all get on the staircase, I'm going to say that you tell the Rat King to stay behind with the wagon and the rats, or in the uh, undead mice, or fuck, what are they? Cats. Mm-hmm. Because bringing a wagon up some stairs... Not gonna be, no. Yeah. They can just hang out there, I guess, under the fan. And they'll be protected, and all of your stuff will be protected by the Rat King and his two foxes. So he opts out, he opts, we'll stay here with Wait, the wagon. Can I get a couple things out of my wagon before I abandon it? Yeah, go. Show? All okay, right. Cool. All right. Continue. So that goes on. Hammy Sammy pulls out her stuff that she needs. There's a couple things I'm just going to... And... You're like, I need... I need, I need this. I just want to mention it before we walk away. Fair. Drew can't be like, well, that's in your wagon, and your wagon's way down there. Yeah, because <laughs> I know what you're doing, you know? <laughs> so as you all take steps on the wagon... Or not the wagon, excuse me. The staircase. The staircase rumbles. And it begins to seesaw forward. But your guys' sense of gravity is not changing. It just flips itself upside down to where you can see the wagon, but you guys are upside down now. Just keep walking forward like normal. 
Yep. Forward's the way to go. You guys walk for a little bit, probably about five minutes, and then a little... Uh, no, let's, let's wipe that. I have something better. As you guys are walking upside down still, you hear the sound of armored paws again. And then ahead of you guys, you can see this meerkat, the same one, and he doesn't look hurt or anything. He goes, hold thou tongues, brigands, dost thou have here? I already told you. How far up is the uh, top? The top of the castle can only be accessed by beating all five meerkats. How far up is it? It's endless. Until you beat all five meerkats. That sounds completely false. I think that if I walked right past you and started walking up the stairs, that I'd go up the stairs. And you'd keep going forever. But I wouldn't even let thou pass. Uh, you're gonna stop me? Hell yes, if. Okay, if. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ca... I am the meerkat known as Silver Wind! And he takes a step forward, and he's gonna try to attack you. Deja vu, anyone? Right. Oh, shit. Uh, he rolls a four. So he misses. Ah. Uh. Now I'll give you an opportunity to attack. Now you're weak. You were stronger the last time, pussy boy. <laughs> oh my god. And this time, what I will do to him is I will give him the most, the most fucking chilling touch he's ever had in his fucking life. Heck yeah. Oh my fucking god. Fifteen? Fifteen? Uh, that doesn't hit. I was just trying to see if there was a reason I could give advantage, but but no, it doesn't hit. So he, you go to chill touch him, and he just barely swerves out of the way of your chilling touch. All right, so we'll go with the same initiative. Nala, your turn. And he is, I will say, John and Hammy Sammy are in the back. Nala is second, and then Roni is first on the staircase. And you guys are upside down. But that doesn't mess with your guys' vertigo or anything because of the spell. All right, I'm going to hit him with my crossbow. Okay. All right, 19, 14, 16, and 21. Is those hits? Those are for if I'm hitting. Okay, yeah. Uh, everything over 16 hits, which I think is everything that you just said. Okay, so do I just do full damage? Uh, just roll damage for each of them. Okay, the 14 does not hit, but the 16 does a clip damage. 17 damage. 17 total. Okay, and then that will be John next. All right, all right, all right. Then, for my first hit. <coughs> so... Nala, you just unleash a barrage of arrows up on this meerkat at point-blank range, practically. And some of them get him, and he stumbles back a bit. Okay. So it's my turn? Yes. All right. Then I'm going to guiding bolt him. So 22. 22, that's a hit. Okay. And then I'm going to stab him with my trident for a team attack. Okay. So how do you initiate that? So you blast him with your guiding bolt. And then the next attacks all have advantage. Yep. Oh, shit. So what do you say to start the team attack? So everyone team attack him! And then everyone just moves in. And then we, we will. I will swing this guy with my That's a hit. Clip damage. Spear. Actually, I'm going to try to chill touch him. <laughs> oh, wait. We're so 21. Yes, 25. and everyone has advantage because of John's ability. Oh, because it was 21. 
Okay. 25. Uh, uh, uh. That's a hit. And you can't regain any health points until the start of my next turn. Okay. Of my necrotic hit. You fucker. Okay. Six mm -hmm. damage. Okay, 23 hits, I'm assuming. Yes. So it's just max damage, right? Correct. Oh. Seven. Okay, I didn't do that. Oh. Two D eight. What was it? Two D eight. Um sixteen. Yeah. Twenty three to hit. It's set. it's just the straight uh like I don't roll anything right, just take the next. Yeah. Then it's just seven. Okay. I got sixteen damage. Oh, I am dumb. I should have used something else. <laughs> Too late now. There's always another time. Mm -hmm. Unless we all talk. Don't fuck. doke. And then... Nala... I already got your damage. Okay, uh, so then... Everyone just unleashes another onslaught of an attack. So you guys all just pokey poke and stabby stab and, and chill touching and chill touching and he's like sitting there like ah! and as he's you doing must that, be a little cold and he looks at you when you say that because you've still got a, a touch a hold of him and he looks at you and he goes <laughs> maybe this is what I wanted all along. And he bites down on his lip, and his eyes begin to glow, and then all of a sudden, his body starts to inflame on this staircase, and oh get bigger, God. and bigger, and bigger, and then, He's he explodes with this sound, not, it's not, it's not gross the way he explodes, <laughs> it's actually like just a balloon, just a giant pop, oh. but it's enough to rupture everyone where they're standing. So basically, you, everyone's going to need to roll a strength check and order to stay on the staircase. The roll to beat is nine. Right. Is it strength savings? Fifteen. Uh, just, yeah, let's do strength savings. Damn. I have advantage. Ah! Yeah, Thirteen. Twenty-two. Oh, we have land, John? No, I do specifically. Uh, John also gives a plus two to savings throws. You get he gives a plus two to saving service? Yeah. Eight. What do I have to beat? You have to beat nine. Okay. Then I also failed. I had fifteen then. And what did you get in all? Well, I'm fucking 22. sad because I got fucking screwed. So oh, as you right. guys as he explodes, Roni and Hammy Sammy are blasted off. Right. Of the staircase, and you guys begin to fall. What you would say would probably be up can to I roll you guys. Him? Yeah, we can roll the rabbit, and you guys begin to fall. So I can roll to grab them. Yep, roll to grab them. Uh, you can only grab one, unless it's a nat 20. No, because they blasted off on both opposite sides. Nat 20. So can I grab them both? <laughs> he did roll a nat 20 just now. <laughs> Hey, that's a nat 20, Drew. It was nat 20, Drew. You said you could get both if you roll the nat 20. Huh. My brain go burr. Nat 20 or both. Wonderful. I think you got All right, well then, you have to use some kind of spell in order to do it. Uh, I think you got a nat 20. I you got can just do 20. it for free. I should be able to get it. Use that if I got He just super damage. jumps. I mean, Burf! I can channel divinity, divine sense, and... I think, I it's think just I can. Free. Okay, Evan. I'll do a spell just to make him happy. Um, fine. Uh, I know exactly which one to do. Is this enhance ability? I cast it, and I can enhance my ability to be like a cat. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cat grace target has advantage on dexterity checks. It also doesn't take damage falling 20 feet or less. Well, okay, so you, so how would you grab both of them? So you enhance and you get ready to pounce, and you pounce. 
Which one are you going for first? Or would the endurance be better? I think the what you said first. Okay. Cap Grace. Um, so I pounce and I jump on appears to be like on another staircase and okay. I bounce off and I grab them all at a slant, both of them at a slant. Yep. And then I bounce off that one and go back to the same staircase we were at. Okay, so yeah, Nala, you watch that? Yeah. Yep. Nala watches that and the two of you, Hammy, Sammy, and Roni are petrified. All right. <laughs> and here we go. <coughs> Who's next? So that's one down, I guess? One down, one uh, yeah. down? Yeah. I guess we'll just keep going we up, the We're gonna go up the stairs. We're going to go up the stairs. Mm-hmm. Okay. And as you make your way up the staircase, you finally come to a platform. Okay. And it turns you back upside up. Oh, okay. thank God. Hey. So you get on the platform, upside up, and then there are four staircases to take. Each of them going up. Do they go up and into different directions? Yes. Guess it'd probably be smart to stick together. Um, yep, not so do one move. I don't, uh, I don't care which direction we go. Let's go to the left one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's say we stick together this time. All right, let's go. All right. Let's go down so as you guys make your way to the left, furthest left staircase, you hear the sound of small little armored feet. Oh, of course. And then in your guys' view, you can see the same meerkat. Hold thou, brigands! What doth do here? Oh, oh my god, leave us let's alone just, Let's just kill him. Alright, let's kill it. Initiate team attack. How far away is the top of this, this tower? 80 feet. 80 feet. Alright. Hammy, you're going with, or you know what? Nala, you're going with me. We're going to the top of this tower to go find fucking... Uh, uh, Emery, <laughs> and I'm gonna use Dimension Door okay. to teleport me and the creature that's willing. Hmm. To Let's go do it. With Let's run me. it. Wait, we technically both can do that. So you can both take. We can both take each. Okay, so as you guys are trying to cast Dimension Door, the so spell shield. the spell fizzles out, well, that's not and then you hear the guy go, the meerkat go. Teleportation is not allowed! You must complete the trials! I am known as the Silver Wind! And he takes a step for you to attack. So we and, yeah. and that's it. our third one? He would. And that is that is the end of the episode. Oh shit. Still yeah, sure. cue the music. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening. That is our show. Fresh Adventures Pocket Worlds main cast is played by Crystal King as Nala, Keystone Malone as John Dogstrong, Frankie Boyd as Hammy Sammy. Nathaniel Stewart as Raroni Thunderfist. Drew Ashland Noss as the Dungeon Master. A special thank you to our editor, Dylan Guthrie, at Chimera Studios. And to Jack Clark, our illustrator, for everything you've seen on screen, if you're watching off of YouTube, that is. Oh, didn't know we were on YouTube, huh? Check out our show notes. Dylan, turn off the music. <laughs> Dylan, turn off the music. <laughs>